So that's that's not it's not good. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that before something catches on fire here. What is going on guys? It is your boy the hub mountain bike and more. What's going on? So today or this past day I have made a shop for working on this truck right here, the one I was in the last video, working on this. I can also bring bike parts in here and work on my bike if I need to. I can strip it down, work on bikes, and that'll be pretty convenient because it's got a bit in here, got light, and I got pretty much everything I'll show you guys in a second. But um, I wanted to do, I want to show you something pretty cool that I've been working on. Alrighty guys, and this is how we have the JBL towel thing. Super cool poster, I just cut out of the box. Anyway, tools wise, I use this pin right here, this paint pin. I use this for the tires. So what I do with my tires, I think it looks cool. Wow, that's a little too loud there, but um, is that paint one spoke and I paint the rest of it. Like I'll do the tire lettering as I showed in the other video. So I think that looks pretty cool when it's going down the road or wherever else it's going. I just like that little mark right there. Um, drift tires. I still haven't mentioned what size this is because I have no idea. But they simply just fit over these. They actually fit really well. Snug fit. And then whenever you're done, you can just pull them off. So that if we're, you're not have to worry about swapping out tires or whatever. And if this wears down, you can always just buy a new buy a new tire. Or a new pipe part thing. Tools wise, we got the pliers over here. And then we have wire strippers. Uh... A shock wrench, antenna wrench, or whatever the heck this is, tire wrench. Uh, I don't think this is a really tool. I think it's from some dentist office. I don't know, but um, this works really well if I'm trying to get in. What's this thing? That one. There it goes. I'm trying to get in like little spots right here, just trying to get dirt out. So that that's what I use this for. I got all my hex wrenches, um, and I also have my nut drivers, which I use to put the tires on. Radio, box of tools, this is the motor I just blew up. Um, I just keep the body over to the side. It's not like, and this actually works pretty good as a stand. I just have a box that I had to cut, cut out right here so this would fit. Works pretty good though. Okay, so what I've been trying to, or about what I've been wanting to tell you guys. Um, my old XL5 ESC, um, it wasn't really produce as much power as I really want it to. And what really further my decision was, I was driving this in the in the rain, through a puddle or whatever, and then I, I don't know what happened to it, I think it got full of rocks or something happened, but it ripped out the, all the brushes right here. So if I like tap one, I'll show you guys, but if I push one in, it works fine, but if I don't, then it's, it's just a broke motor. Let me show you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna plug in my battery. Oh, I'm gonna plug it into the receiver here. Alright, plug it in there. Let me get the motor. Plug this in, just like so. Turn it on. Nothing happens. Nothing happens at all. But everything else works. See? Steering right there works just fine. So it's just the throttle. I'm like, oh, great, I blew an ESC, but the motor started smoking and all this good stuff. Here, watch. So now if I get my screwdriver and push it in. It works just fine. But then if I push it too far, this is what happens. It just smokes, see that? So that's that's not it's not good. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that before something catches on fire here. I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but all I know is is that it's pretty broke. So, what I did, oh, okay. So what I did was I went on eBay and, oh, where's my phone? 
So I bought this brushless system right here. The only problem with it is the tabs are broke off. Let's see if you can see that. That's the side of the ESC. So the tab right here, the tab was right here and it got broke off. So that's that's the only thing that's the only thing I'm really worried about with this is because I don't know if the person was trying to like because I know if you pull this right here you can well, let's see. If you pull if you pull these pull these tabs right here, they will somehow release this so you can take the top off. So I don't I hope no, nobody screwed with anything. I'm hoping that they just broke off because they're pretty flimsy little things as you can see. I can just move it like that. So I ordered that and also got a four pole brushless motor, Valenium motor, which comes in this slash platinum. Um, so that should be a good addition. Um, eventually, I gotta, I gotta get a little more money, but um, I think I can run my stock 8.4 volt Nicarbo Hydrate battery and the new receiver and the, well, I don't even know, what's this? Yeah, v VXL3S. Um, I'm hoping I can run that in here. I should be able to, but just to make sure I just don't screw anything up, but I bet I'm getting a 2 or 3S LiPo, which they're decently expensive. Like, I can get a decent 2 or 3S LiPo for 50 bucks, and then the, then you gotta buy the special charger. So that puts you around about 80 bucks. So, it's, it, hopefully everything, hopefully this will work out just fine. I hope it will, because I really do not want to spend more money on something that won't work. But, I did, um, there is a return policy on that, 30 days, so if I do break it, I can just send it back and say, hey, this didn't work, your tabs are broke or whatever. So that's that's definitely coming up. I think it's coming on Tuesday. Um, I'll be doing a vlog on that because Tuesday I'm going to get my license because I passed my driver's test with 100. Woohoo! Um, so I'll be going to the DMV to get my picture and stuff made. Oh, oh my gorgeous hair. Anyway, uh, just, uh, that'll be a cool vlog, I hope. I think it'll be one I could definitely look at and be like oh I remember when I took my driver's license I got my picture made here's a video to prove it so that's gonna be a lot of fun uh, hopefully that's when my ESC and motor are coming in so I can put them in there um, Tuesday is a school day so yeah that, that sucks but um, I just finished rebuilding a new slipper cut slipper, uh, slipper clutch for this thing because it was a little slippy it wouldn't it wouldn't grab anything so I took the little disc off now uh, while I'm at it I'll just show you guys how to rebuild your slipper clutch alrighty what you guys need will need is this piece that comes with your truck but I just use my nut driver because it is so much easier so all you gotta do is take this nut off like so it's kind of tricky because you gotta keep your drive shaft still too because it wants to grab those <clears throat> There we are. So after you take that off, put it somewhere where you won't lose it, and the spring comes right off too, just like this. And then what you should be able to do is just pull this gear right off, just like that. And inside here you have your slipper clutch, slipper clutch pads, right here. So those actually these are these rarely wear out, so you don't have to worry about that much. Um, but this is the piece that needed to be replaced. Let's see, focus on that. So this is the piece that was real worn out and I had to, actually I think it got grease on it. So what I did was I got some WD-40 and brake cleaner and I uh, soaked it in that for maybe an hour or two and then, and then I just wiped it off and let it dry real good and it, it Hopefully it works because I haven't been able to test it, so I can't say it works great. But and then you just repeat, or just go backwards. So you then you put this back on and your spring, and then your nut.
And don't forget to tighten it up. You're good to go. So that was just a little video of my how to work on or how to replace parts. I'll be doing a lot of those because I'm sure there'll be a lot of parts that break on this thing because well actually I don't know because this is a, a pretty new model because it's 2017 and it just turned 2018 so it's not even a year old so it should be just fine. Um, um, but as you guys know why my motor is screwed up like that let me know because if I knew how to fix it, that'd save me. I mean, these are really cheap, though. They are like 11 bucks. But I was going to go brushless if something broke. So, something broke. I decided to go ahead and go brushless. So, I'm excited. I hope, I hope everything works out. The only thing is the mounting tabs. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. But, because uh, it's supposed to just mount to those two screws right here this screw and this screw. But it it's not going to so I think I can make I can grind down a plate to fit right here and I can, I can just get a little silicone or whatever and just just put a little um, just put a little dab on there um, how to automate automate as well uh, <laughs> I'll let you know what I've done to this truck so far just like maintenance wise so if you guys are in the same boat I am you actually know what you're doing I'm not saying you don't know what you're doing but <laughs> So yesterday I completely stripped apart the um, the gearbox. I took the whole transmission apart. Everything came out. Ooh, that needs to be tightened up. That's what your slipper clutch does, though. Anyway, um, I put grease in my axles. That definitely keeps them nice and lubricated. Um, I rebuilt the shocks. Did the same for this side. So that's pretty much all I've done. I don't I don't have a I hadn't been able to run it, so I don't know if I, anything I did actually fixed it. So yeah, well I mean we'll have to see what happens, but I think that's a wrap guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Tune in for more slash video slash videos. Um I'm sorry there haven't been much mountain bike content. Um it's been so cold and it's not even fun to ride because your hands hurt so bad after you're done riding like I have tubeless tires in right now, as you know, and they're both flat. Because, I, I mean, they're just, it's just so cold, it's not even fun to ride. So, it's supposed to be warm this weekend, so hopefully I might be able to get a little riding in then. But, uh, till next time, peace out, like, and subscribe, of course. Um, my goal this year is to hit 100 subscribers, so you guys hit the subscribe button right now. Right now, it's gonna, it'll help me in getting sponsored by a lot of people. So, appreciate it. Stay tuned for next time. Peace out.